All right, guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick recap. Uh, uh, today was a very, very interesting day, uh, in my opinion, because we didn't have much uh, stocks in play, but we had two active uh, sectors. Um, so financial and energy sector were really strong and the technology was really weak. So the stocks in play for me was uh, CCL and Oxy. Uh, so CCL is the cruise lines uh, that uh, they were really strong, but I missed the move on them, unfortunately. And of course, Oxy was also really, really good, uh, you know, energy sector representative that was going up and I missed the move on that. Uh, technology like QQQ, Apple, AMD were really weak and uh, sold off at the open because of the concerns about the interest rates and all of those stuff. So what happened to me was um, I traded BBIG at the open is a lower price, lower price stocks and, uh, you know, popped up at the open. You know, I kind of chased it, got a form of 765 and I got a really big stopped out uh, below the Weaver and that turned out to be a really big loss for me. Uh, and uh, the other trades were really good for me. I traded uh, energy uh, QQQ, but this big loss uh, turned out to be, you know, in a day in a way that I couldn't really uh, do much. So I had a really big loss on BBIG just because lower price, lower fruit stocks. And then Lucid was also a trade that was OK. I got to stop out, but I got a really nice trade on TQQ, which was a bounce on the technology and TNA, which was a swing that I had. And I still have a little bit on that. Uh, so they turned out to be positive, but thanks to the TNA on, because of the swing that I had. But on a day trade, it wasn't really successful for me. Um, so BBIG, as you see, big sell off and I tried to catch a reversal on it, but I just got out because I really didn't want to touch it. Lucid uh, opening range breakouts. Uh, that was a uh, you know trade of uh, opening range breakout that I did. I got a stop down. It did really came down below the Vivia, but then after that made the move from 26 to 27. Um, I think Brian uh, uh, took that through through 27. He played it through 27. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but the the most important thing for me was the TQQ, the the, the day trade that I did. As as I to, as I mentioned, the queues were really selling off. So let me put the queues here. Uh, so as you see, these two charts are essentially the same. Uh, I'll bring it here. So these two charts are essentially the same. TQQ is the leverage ETF of QQQs. If the QQQ is selling off 1%, TQQ is selling off 3%. Um, so I saw that the big sell-off is happening. I jumped in a little bit too early for a bounce. I got to stop out first, but I really realized that 135.84 could be a level because Apple has started showing, um, you know, Apple is a big portion of QQQ as a representative of energy sector. It really showed the support at around 143.88, which is a daily level. And I decided to, so as you see here around this area, I showed the support and I decided to actually take the trade on TQQ. So I did it at 135.84, popped up, sold, added more. I got to stop that once, uh, but I wish I was really holding. So these are at, uh, and then I got to stop that and I took it one more time above uh, Viva. So this, and that was the first one that I got to stop out. So eventually, you know, in the second and third trade, I made good money. I could, you know, hold it longer, but unfortunately, uh, I got to stop out. Another thing that you could see for potential uh, uh, representative of TQQ is AMD. I was uh, watching AMD on the other side as well. You just, uh, I just want you to see how beautiful these two are seeing. So, uh, you know, AMD is holding this bottom at around 103, and as you see, the bounce happened. And I think uh, TQQ is probably going to go to 138, but I just don't want to jump in there. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I mean, I have this TNA. I'm not much left on TNA, so which IWM is very strong because there's a lot of financials and small banks on there. And uh, TNA, which is the leverage ETF of uh, IWM, as you see, it's just going up. So I can sell this 142 shares and just be done with it. But uh, anyways, I'll just hold this for fun. Um, Brian, what did you trade? Uh, <clears throat> well, I traded SBSW at the open. Um, played a rising devil trade on it. I mean, I, I made money on it. I just uh, <clears throat> was hoping it would sell off a lot more and it, it never ended up doing that. So uh, other than that, yeah, as you mentioned, financials and, um, and I knew financials was, were going to be strong. That's why I had FAS on my uh, watch list. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'm awesome. just long CCL at this uh, on a 920 trade it did get back to uh, it's at 2680 right now so looking for a bounce yeah here. Brian is doing a 920 trade 2680 <laughs> especially near the weave app um, 
All right, so I think that's pretty much it for uh, for me. I mean, the GM is popping. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna close the two thousand uh, dollar here, and actually TNA. I don't know if I might actually sell TNA all of my TNA here. All right, yeah. uh, have a good day, guys. So uh, we have a bunch of webinars. Uh, Brian, anything from you? No, that's it. I'm looking. I got uh, looking at Sava as a nine twenty trade right now. I'm CCL, still yeah. long a little bit of CCL, but it uh, it's trying to hold the VWAP here. But uh, you know, I'm going to give it about uh, seven or eight cents. If it drops below the VWAP, I'll get out. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Have a good day, guys. Hope you had a better day than me. Uh, but uh, all the best. Uh, ciao.